from the Max Stranger in Portland, Oregon. We're coming to you live for Channel 41. And today we are actually here looking at how busy the Max trains are. There's a massive, looks like a massive movement of people that are traveling across the city. And we are shoulder to shoulder into the Max. So I am going to actually try and stay on the Max, see when the doors open and the doors close, how many people are getting on and off. So we have a clear understanding. We we believe that uh, TriMet needs to increase the number of trains that are going in and out of downtown because of how packed the max trains truly are. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, sir. Whoa, <laughs> what is that you have there? <laughs> it's, it's, um, I mean, I don't quite know what kind of animal that is. It's a, it's a pygmy goat. Ah, pygmy goat. It looks a little large to be a pygmy goat, but but frankly, I didn't know animals were allowed on the max. Well, they're they're people too, aren't they? Pygmy goats are <laughs> pygmy. Well, I'm not quite sure pygmy goats are, are actually people. Well, it is to me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Uh, even though the max trains are incredibly full. We are now actually not just here. Well, I was getting ready to say we're not here with just people. But then again, to some people, pygmy goats are people too. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse oh, me. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> and wow, uh, excuse me. Wow. It, and we just had a pygmy goat come on, folks. And, and now we have yet another person who has joined us with another animal. Well, that's actually about 12. Uh, these are all my chickens. I'm just taking them downtown for a nice walk in the park. So are we on Are we on TV right now? We, we are. We are. I am uh, Channel 41, and I'm news reporter Travis Stobel. I'm and not we, familiar, but... Well, I'm actually incredibly famous uh, uh, here in the Portland metropolitan area. I'm a news reporter, so everybody knows who I am. Oh, okay. I'm investigative. But uh, today I'm just doing a little bit of... Uh, Reporting on the max and how full the max is, and I see you act. You have actually just made the max significantly full with uh, your twelve chickens. Yes, uh, I just need people to get up out of their seats and and let my chickens sit. They need to sit. They might lay an egg. Just watch where you're stepping. Wow. Um, not only is the max incredibly full, but we are still dealing with folks coming on with various forms of animals. Uh, and uh, 12 chickens, I am not quite sure with the number of folks that are sitting here, if all those chickens are going to make it back off. Uh, excuse me. Oh, sir. <laughs> excuse me. I, <laughs> whoa. Um, what, is, uh, what is that? This? Yeah. Yes, that. It's a, uh, it's a pygmy moose. I didn't know moose could be pygmy. But it's still not very small when they're pygmy. <laughs> Just go ahead and sit down, Gertrude. Sit down. Are you sure that's a pygmy moose? Because that moose is pretty large. I, oh, I, I just try to make it uh, sound smaller by calling it a pygmy. I, I don't want people to think I'm taking up too much space in the max here. Got it, got it. Because to me, that moose looks very large. Sir, get, really your, not... get your hat off the face. Well, I think it's probably good efficient use of the antler uh, if the person just puts their hat on there and hold it while we have a pygmy moose on the mat. Are you, are you taking pictures of the moose? Of course we are, sir, because uh, how often do we have a pygmy moose on mass trains? Uh, just twice a week. Oh, tw oh, you ride it more than once. Wow. Well, folks, uh, like I said, we're, we're we're going again, and the max train continues to get more and more full, based on more and more people bringing their animals, their pygmy goats, their chickens, and now their pygmy moose. We've got just a couple more stops before we get to downtown, and and we step off. But we hope that we won't see too many more animals getting. Oh wait, there the pygmy goat is people too. All right, excuse me, excuse me. Oh wow, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon. Yeah, don't, and, don't look at my jar. And what do you, what do you, what do you have in the jar? It's my. Don't tell anybody. It's my pet. And what kind of pet do you have? Have you heard of murder hornets? 